this is Finbar Taub coming to you from nextlevelguitar.com, brother of the famous David Taub! Yeah! Anyway, I wanted to show you that little uh, thump and pop routine I did right there. It's really simple. It just involves octaves, and I'll show you what I'm doing with my left hand really quick and my right hand. And you can start it off slow, do it quicker and quicker, and then you'll be able to impress everyone. You'll, you'll be amazed. Everyone will be amazed. And remember, when you're thumping, I like to use this part of my thumb right here. There's sort of a bony part of my thumb right there. And I like to smack that really hard. Like smack that like it owes you money. Right onto the, right onto the string. And practice that. Just keep going like that, you know. And when you're hanging out with your friends or whatever like that, tap on the table like that because people love tappers. As much as you can, be tapping all the time with that thumb, no matter what. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do with my left hand here first. And remember, this is basic thumping and popping. It involves uh, using octaves. It's um, really fun. It's easy. You can move this all around the neck if you want to. Um, and anyone can do this. You can do this. All you need to do is just practice a little bit each day, and bam, you'll have it. You'll be ripping it on it, no problem. So really what I do first is I'm going to play an octave off of, the, off of an A note, which is a second string down. That's A. And this is also A. And I'll show you what I'm doing with my right hand too. That's a lot of the, the signature sound that you're hearing there for thumping and popping is with the right hand. But with left hand, let me show you the octaves. So that's the first octave right there. You have, you're just going to play the A string open, just like that. And you're going to play an A also, except on the G string, on the, the lower string. Right there, on the second fret. So then you're going to move. You're going to play an octave right on the uh, second fret of the A string, just like that. Then your um, ring finger is going to move to the fourth. Can you see this okay? That's going to be the fourth fret of the G string, just like that. A B right there. So you're going to play, that's the first octave. That's the next octave you're playing. And that's, that's the pattern of an, of an octave right there. You can move that pattern anywhere you want. And that's what it sounds like. An octave has a very distinctive sound. That's the sound you're looking for right there. So again, you're gonna, the, the first two octaves we're going to play is right, right here. Then you're going to move it up just a half step. So you're going to take that same pattern, move it up. You're going to be on the uh, third fret of the second string right here of the A string. So, so far you have... Play it in the song sounds like this. Then you're going to go back to that open A. So so far we have. Then the next note is what makes it sound kind of cool. You're going to go to a A sharp, which is right here, and you're going to play that octave. So together it sounds like. And what I like to do on that last note, which is a little menacing sounding, right? You're going to slide that up. So just stay right on, keep your fingers right in that octave pattern. You're going to stay on the A sharp, and you're just going to, which is the first fret of the second string, the A string, and you're just going to move it up. Slide it. Try and keep both fingers. This is, this takes a little bit of power, but you'll develop it. Both fingers, slide it up. So all together, that's... Again, don't worry about the right hand right now. Just remember, these are, this, these are the octaves you're playing. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to show you... Well, first I'll show you what that sounds like up here real quick. And now I'm going to show you what my right hand is doing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what is done with the right hand. Um, this is a basic thumping and popping motion that I'm going to do here. Um, practice it really slow at first, and then you'll see. Once you start practicing this, you're going to go wild. It's going to be so much fun for you. You're going to want to do it all the time. So basically the, the thump, instead of doing a typical pluck, which would be like this with your fingers, you're going to hold your hand down past the strings, and you're going to actually make a percussive hit to the string with your thumb. So all that entails is just doing this right here. And you could do it on any string. 
And that's what it sounds like. Remember, you're not actually, you're not plucking the string with your thumb, which would be this sound. You're actually giving it a percussive thump. And that's a good thing just to practice anywhere on all the strings. Just like that. Okay, just to show you what that thumping motion looks like, I'm just gonna plop around on the neck a little bit. This is what it sounds like, to, and this is what your thumb is gonna be doing. At first, basically, all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be building up your accuracy so you could really just hit one string at a time with your thumb, just like that. So, and move it around a little bit, but once you get that down, you're gonna to wanna to start to pop. And the pop motion is the fun part. You're gonna love that. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do your standard thump, as you just learned. And then after you do that thump with your thumb, you're gonna to wanna to do a really strong pull off with your um, index finger of your right hand. And what that looks like, if you wanna do it on a G string, is gonna be like this. Now what you're actually doing there is you're holding the string, you're holding the string with your finger and you're pulling it up from the fretboard until you get that sound and it's like that, that motion. And at first that's gonna sound really weird, like, well, I can't do that fast because it's really strong and I'm holding it. But you'll see that it'll get, it'll get faster and faster when you, once you start doing it more and more. So it's just this motion right here, that's all it is. Hold it with your finger like this and pull off. So if you put your thumb in with that, you get This is a good exercise right here. Just hold your fingers on an octave if you want of your left hand with your left hand and just thump and pop, thump and pop. Pretty soon you'll be able to do them both in uh, just uh, in very close proximity to one another, just like that. Close timing. And that's when it starts to get really fun and really like. You'll start to sound more like a thumper that way. Just like that. So if we're doing the uh, progression that I was showing you before, it's gonna look like this. That's a slowed down version of it. So you notice that sometimes I'm hitting, I'm thumping once, sometimes I'm thumping twice but you wanna mix it up a little bit. Throw one thump in there, two thumps sometimes. And it's a great way to make up your own music. I mean, you don't have to always play everybody else's music all the time. Just play around with it and you'll say like, wow, that actually sounds like a song. Get together with some people, you know, and, and make it into a song.